Hello and welcome to our next video. We got an email from one of the subscribers asking us how do you take a photo from here and turn it into something like this photo. Um, basically do I throw old photos away or photos that I don't like away and the answer to that is no I never throw uh, old photos away. One of the things I like to do especially on like rainy days, really hot days when I'm stuck indoors, when I don't have my camera in my hand, is to go through some old photos and look at them and see if there's some way I can change them. A lot of times as I'm on the shoot, um, I take the shot with an idea in mind, even if I don't like the photo at first. And I believe this is what uh, the subscriber is asking about. Um, I just shot this photo with uh, Samantha. Um, I found this young lady on Model Mayhem, and we did the photo shoot uh, just two days ago. It was uh, an old rusty train that was sitting in the middle of a field. Uh, actually, it's in a museum. It was about 105 degrees outside at 9.30 in the morning. It was just an awful day. So what we did is um, I took this photo, and you can see right down here at the bottom, She's sitting on a black shirt. Well, we didn't want her to get dirty. Like I said, it's old, rusty. It's been sitting out for years. So we, we didn't want her to get real dirty. But what I did was I took the photo with the actual ending to look like this. Now, I did all the editing in Lightroom. I didn't have to jump into different software to make the photo look the way that the final image was done. Um, but this is what I do. Um, Sometimes, like I said, uh, you know, you, you can't always just shoot for the, the photo in the frame. So I go through old photos. Um, I normally go through and I label them, you know, a five-star photo is one I'm going to work on first. And then um, I use colors like, you know, blue, reds, and greens just to kind of break up the images so I can work on them later a little bit quicker. Um, I did another video on how to do that. Uh, but here we're going to just start from basically the image. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to go through some of your old photos or photos like this that you've taken and you want to make it look like what you saw in your head when you took the picture even though you may not like the way the photo looks right now. So first thing I did in this photo is I'm going to run over here and I'm going to jump into the crop tool and I'm going to crop off just below her arm which will leave just a little bit of her leg up here, which is okay because I'm actually going to remove that later as well. And then I'm going to pull this side over just to the inside of her thigh. So what I've done now is I've actually placed her eye a little bit closer on this line here, which is on the rule of thirds. Now, when I took the picture, this is what I had in mind. And then just click done. And now you're going to see the image the way that I actually saw it, the way that I really wanted to take it. So, next thing I did on this photo, and again, it was hot outside. Um, I'm going to walk over right over here and click my white balance tool and click on a neutral gray, which is about right here. Now, this will raise up my temperature a little bit to give it a little bit warmer color. Uh, you can see over here under the temperature now, it's at 5950, where out of the camera, I think it's about 5100. So now I just did some quick editing of the image before I sent it to her. Uh, one of the things is um, she had some type of a, a bar that went right here through her lip. So I asked her if she wanted that removed. So she said, no, go ahead and remove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through here and just remove these little spots for her. Uh, Lightroom does a real good job of just, if you get just close to the area, you can go in and just one click on it and it will remove that part of the image and, and does like a skin sampling for me. So she had actually very beautiful skin, uh, only a couple blemishes on it. So there's one right up here by her eyebrow. I'm just going to quickly remove this one. Let Lightroom look for the sample and that's good enough. And then the only other one that we had that I noticed on a, a different photo was um, 
right here on her chest she had a a scar so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to get a little bar larger brush right here and I'm going to just remove this scar for her and that's basically all I had to do so now we're back to the, the main image the way that I envisioned it before I took the photo so now what I'm going to do is go through the adjustments here and just make some real quick adjustments to get the the final image without having to drop uh, from one software to another um, what I'm going to do here is contrast I'm going to raise this about 10 highlights shadows I'm going to leave the same whites leave it zero blacks I want minus 20 which will darken up a little bit of the train a little bit of her outfit the stripes of her shirt clarity um, I put a little bit of clarity clarity in all my images so I'm going to put about 10 on that one uh, vibrance I want this in really all what I want is more of the rust color so I'm going to put these also at both 10 for vibrance and saturation and then I'm going to skip all the way down to the coloring now the yellows back here I want to actually increase the yellows it's about 50 on this one and on the luminance about 25 will brighten up a little bit of the color on this side of her and then underneath this part of the train skip all the rest of the colors because there really wasn't any other color we had to worry about in this image then I'm going to go down to the sharpening tool go 35 on the sharpening which will really make this image nice and crisp and clear and then noise reduction we did not have a lot of problem with this but I'm still going to go ahead and use a little bit of noise reduction I'm going to use 40 on the luminance I want 90 percent of the detail uh, color same thing I'll do 40 and then 95 on that one and then I'm not going to apply the last thing which would be uh, the lit right here I would actually put a vignette on it but I'm going to wait for that one so basically this was about it except for when I zoom back into her I want to give her just a little bit of that glow um, so what I did was if I go back to my brush tool oh that's not good there we go so if I go back and click on my brush tool then I'll go up here under the effects under skin softening I'm going to leave everything basically right about where it's at. Um, I just need a, a decent sized brush, but I also make sure I want to have the feather on it so that I don't overspill the image. And all I'm going to do is just paint around her, her face and her arms and her, uh, right here on her chest and smooth out her skin even more without having to use a third party software. So all I have to do now is just run this quickly right over her, her skin and you'll see Lightroom does a really nice job of smoothing out her skin for us. So just really quick, it doesn't have to be perfect because I have the, just keep the, uh, the tool inside the skin with the feather on it, you'll actually be able to work a little bit faster. You know I could use this, normally I, could, I would ex export this to either portraiture or even uh, the Nike software Color Effects Pro to do the final image. but here I don't need to her skin was actually very good and when I'm done just click the done button and basically this was all I had to do for the image for her so you don't you know on days whenever it's really rainy uh, when it's too hot to have your camera in your hand go back over and look at some of your photos and see if you can't just change the perspective a little bit it will give you a much cleaner image or something that you didn't have before um, you know, you, you know, it's it's actually not too hard to do. I mean, there's a lot of times, like I said, uh, you know, if you try to shoot on the rule of thirds every time you, you shoot your camera, you know, you're going to walk away some images. You go, gosh, I wish I just had that little bit extra. Well, it, for me, sometimes, like I said, when I have to use something for her to sit on, lay on, it's something I don't want in the image. I still use that same idea, but I just crop it out later, and, and this is really how to do it. Um, one thing I like about working with a professional model like this young lady, Samantha, is she makes it very easy for you. She knows how to pose. She, she knows, you know, you know, the expressions that she's looking for for her photos. You know, we did this as a, a more of a rockabilly type of a photo shoot, just using the trains as the background. 
Uh, we wanted to use an old car. We haven't got someone who has one of those yet, but we'll do another one and use an, using an older car. But go back through some of your older images, um, and like I said, just change perspectives. Do a little cropping on them. You know, take out a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, and if you don't like it, you can always go back, hit the reset button, and you're back to where you started at. So, you know, this is basically all we had to do. You know, and this was the image I actually sent to Samantha. She may not have ever seen the full image uh, because after I edited edit it, I did not send all the images to her. But like I said, this was, you know, the original from my camera. Like I said, all I did was I had another vision because of the, the, the train and how we had to have her sitting on this silly thing. So I hope this helps you. Uh, if you have any questions on this video or how we step through any of those little uh, processes really fast, you know, just send us another email. Um, I'll be more than happy to get back to you. And I'll put Samantha's Model Mayhem number down there for you. Um, you know, if you're looking for a, a top model, you know, that is, a, um, you know, if you're in her area, I would highly recommend you use her. She has all kind of ideas, uh, places that she likes to shoot at. Um, she brings a, a ton of energy to this photo shoot. Makes it uh, just wonderful to work with, even in 105 degree weather. So I hope this helps. And like I said, if you have any other questions, you know, give us a, another email. You know, subscribe if you like the video. And then we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Thank you.